batting six. The right fielder, Charlie Blockman. His ball crushed deep right center field. Did he get it all? Sony PlayStation recently announced during their state of play that for the month of October, the PlayStation exclusive from Sony San Diego Studios, MLB The Show 19 will be free for download for all PlayStation Plus members. For those who are new to MLB The Show, the game's interfaces and controls can be quite overwhelming. But don't worry, I'm here to give you some beginner tips that will help you become a pro in hitting, pitching, and fielding. Once you have downloaded and installed the game, you will be taken to a tutorial menu to choose an interface for hitting, base running, pitching, and throwing. Zone hitting is considered to be the most effective interface for hitting and provides the most control for user input. For base running, use the default interface. The analog pitching interface, like zone hitting, provides the user with the most control. But be warned, if you miss your spot, precision hitters may just send your pitch out of the park. Button accuracy also gives the most user control and eliminates RNG errors based upon your player's overall attributes. After choosing your user interfaces, head over to the custom practice to begin experimenting with the user controls. While in practice mode, you can adjust the game's difficulty settings in addition to other gameplay features. For hitting, I'd suggest setting the difficulty setting to either Hall of Fame or Legend, and this will allow you to become accustomed to the pitch speeds that are in online head-to-head -head competition. With zone hitting, you can choose to have the plate coverage indicator on or off. The most popular PCI appearance settings are either wedge or reticle. Some even prefer to have the PCI off altogether. At the end of the day, choose the setting that gives you the most success and that you're most comfortable with. The key to becoming a good hitter in MLB The Show is patience. You want to work the count and make your opponent throw pitches down the middle of the strike zone. And remember, every strike is not always a good strike to swing at. In MLB The Show, there are several camera angles for hitting, pitching, in-play view defense, in-play view offense. Having the correct camera angle on offense and defense will determine how successful you are in the show. Strike Zone and Strike Zone 2 are considered the best camera angles for picking up and locating pitches that come over the plate. The camera angle that I personally use for hitting is Strike Zone 2. For pitching, I use strike zone three. For in-play view defense, I use a high camera view. This allows you more time to determine line drives and if a ball that is hit in the outfield will get past the defender and if you have enough space to tag and advance your runner on a fly out. For in-play view offense, you can choose whichever camera angle that provides you with the most cinematic view. To become a successful pitcher in MLB The Show, it's important to select pitchers who have a decent repertoire of pitches. Pitchers who have high Ks per nine, decent control, and high stamina should be the first pitchers that you go after. Also, pitchers who have sinkers, splitters, and cutters as their primary pitches are invaluable. There's an old saying in baseball, pitchers who induce ground balls very rarely give up home runs. Keep in mind that with pitching, having the best cards in the game won't give you automatic success. Strategy is key. For example, don't spam the same location, even if your opponent is struggling to hit one area in or outside of the strike zone, because sooner rather than later, they will camp their PCI and make you pay for it. Utilize all areas of the strike zone. Use off-speed pitches like the changeup, and when your opponent least expects it, blow the fastball right by them. The key to pitching is to keep your opponent guessing and off pace. More importantly, don't walk batters. Free bases often end up being free runs. Also, 
no matter how well your starting pitcher or reliever is doing. When they become fatigued, use mound visits and substitutions. Don't be stubborn and leave them in trying to chase a no hitter or complete game. Most importantly, you're going to give up base hits and runs. Don't become frustrated, gather yourself and get back to work. Two of the most popular game modes in MLB The Show are Road to the Show and Diamond Dynasty. For this video, we're going to focus on Diamond Dynasty. The goal to Diamond Dynasty is building your fantasy team with the best overall live series players, flashbacks, and legends. There are several methods to acquire players to build your squad. The key, however, is to build your squad quickly and easily. You also want to acquire some of the best cards, either cheap or free. There is a community market where cards can be bought or sold, but this is not always the best option to find cheap, good overall cards. Another option to acquire cards is to buy packs, but whatever you do, don't buy packs. SDS has put some of the best offline cards in their featured programs. In this year's installment, Program Bosses are the name of the game. Some of the best cards can be earned by just playing Program Innings and Conquest. The 7th Inning Outer Space Conquest map and Shark map provide the most rewards out of all of the Conquest maps you can complete. Signature Teams is similar to Conquest, being that all of the games are only 3 innings. Take a two or three run lead in the first inning and then bunt to finish the game quickly. The goal is to finish these game modes as quick as possible and earn your rewards. Did I mention just playing the game earns you experience points, known as XP? And with every level that you increase, great rewards are waiting. To celebrate the show being on PS Plus for the first time, SDS is also giving away free in-game content for those who download and log into the game between October 1st and October 31st. To get your show experience started right, go redeem and open five free packs. These packs include a diamond player for your Diamond Dynasty squad and equipment for your created player in Road to the Show. I'm Ransom. This is Sports Gamers Online, your number one source for the sports gamer. Oh, 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 oh,